So it comes down to this. 50 episodes. Recreativo have been rejuvenated. From the Segunda Division B4 all the way up to La Liga. Today they take on Barcelona, La Liga champions for the third year running. What a way to sign off. All the ups, all of the downs, all of the dick jokes culminate in this. For the final time, welcome to the Recreativa Rejuvenation. Well, for the, the final time, welcome back to the Recreativo Rejuvenation. Would you like a tissue? There you go, take... No, not for that. Don't bring me down to your level once again. I thought we got over that. Goodness me. Filth. All of you. Absolute filth. Whilst we're bringing back tropes, drink of the day. Pepsi Max Cherry. Oh, yeah. You know what else is back? Real name. I thought, I've got to get this sorted. It's the last one. We can't have people thinking we're called actually called Huelva. No. So it's fixed. The only one that's not fixed. Yeah, Hispanics. No one can fix it. Probably hard-coded. Enough of that, though. On to this. Apparently, we're vastly inferior opposition. Well, that's an insult. If I've ever seen one, digs.com. Without Sergio Busquets, though. Andre Gomez. Don't know who you are. U Uvaldo. Is that Spanish for evaluate or something? But the reason why I've brought you down to this area of the screen, it would have been absolutely perfect for Oscar Sielba to play his final game and our final game for Recreativo together. His contract's running out, but no. The game has to ruin it, doesn't it? Nice, lovely little internal narrative. You know how much I love a narrative. No. Four weeks, sports hernia. Why couldn't you just wait a week? Wait until it was all over. It wouldn't matter then. No. How disappointing. You know what else isn't here? Yeah, you probably noticed. Should be wearing my Recreativo shirt. No. My squeaky bloody chair ruining my lovely little monologue. Wanker. It's in the wash. Poor planning on my part, in all honesty. So apologies for that. Not that it really fits. I mean, one size fits all. Absolute bollocks. Now, as this is a bit of a throwback episode, I thought... We've got nothing to play for, so it's returned. The Recreativo way for one last time. It's coming out. Not that, no. That, that's staying firmly in my trousers. Yeah, you are. We've ne we haven't used it in three seasons. Maybe more, actually. I can't remember. But it, it's absolutely coming out. Sielva, unfortunately, will not be participating, as we've previously mentioned. But we've got players that can just about be shoehorned in, so we're going for it. Ooh, that's interesting. Chelsea knocked them out. Champions League, by the looks of it. Ah, I'd be pleased about that. <laughs> oh, had a haircut, by the way. Freshly for the, this episode. That's a lie. But I've had a haircut, and it's, um, it's clean. It's washed. That's why it's still damp. Yeah, I've not done a Ronaldo and greased it up like a pig. Not that... I don't know what... Why would you grease up a pig? No, don't, don't even go there. As promised then, as it's the final episode, we're going to look past our previous players that have once played for us and see where they are now. Some of them may well have retired. I didn't really have the foresight to click the little box that says keep the retirement information or information post-retirement. So... Yeah, we'll see what we can see. Ube. Damn it. Poor man's eBay. Poor man, indeed, he's retired. Molina's retired? He's like three years old. Why is he? Lazio, absolute fiends. Jesus Vasquez is now under 19's manager at Guadalajara. Coincidentally, there was a comment left saying that all of my Spanish pronunciations have been absolute bollocks so far. So, let's see if I've got that one remotely close. You know who you are. Make yourself known. Have I got that one right? Guadalajara. Anu Torres. Well, he's he's at Corona, the beer. Well, he's 28. How old was he? Well, I can't even... My math's failing. He's doing all right, though. Seven goals, 32 games. Not too bad. Look at him. He's hopeless. Also at Corona. Bloody hell, it's a recreativo old boys scenario. Going on here, and his contract runs out as well. Look at them. Look at them. They're bloody hopeless. Well, we found him again, so... I win life, right? 
find Waldo, win life. That That's what everyone says. Cecil, right, this is a name we should remember. I can't remember what his actual name is because we nicknamed him. Now 26, went back to England to Portsmouth, played eight games in two seasons, only two goals, but has since found his level at Oberhausen. I'll get uh, Der FM for the pronunciation on that one, obviously. His contract's about to run out, but uh, not a bad return. 11 goals, 38 games, and he is German. Look at that haircut, almost as good as mine. Ruben Misa scored many an important goal. Look at that, 17... No, he didn't score that many. But he's absolutely banging them in for Ebro. 41 in 110, that's not far off. Well, that's a, a, a goal every three games. Pedro Bida, our Brazilian wonder, now 32. At Poor and Bra. Well, that's a woman's worst nightmare, obviously. Javi Cantero, he's retired now, retired at 30. Scott Wooten, he's still knocking around. He's still knocking around Spain. He's doing a bit of a tour. Since arriving from MK Dons, not really many appearances in the few seasons he's been here, though. Bally Mally, what a lovely name he had. Excellent technical ability. Uh, lacked the mental side of the game to be effective. Although he's got seven goals in 33 games for Albacete. Where are Albacete? So in the second tier of Spanish football, he's, he's, he's still... He's doing a bit of business now, so congratulations, Sonny Jim. In fact, even for Albacete B, he got more than a goal a game. Or exactly a goal every other game. Useless. Borja Sanchez, still knocking around as well. He's only 25, now at Oviedo. In fact, he's rattling around the teams. Joined us at 22, doesn't really stick around anywhere very long. Nine clubs, he's 25! Jesus Christ, having a journeyman say all of his own. The sausage. How is he doing? Look at that. Look at that chin strap beard. Ah, oh, beautiful. 12 goals, 49 games. That's not a bad return. Not a bad return. For someone with eight finishing, don't forget. Anyone else? Anyone at Sabellos? Is he still at Crawley? Yes, he is. Yeah, he didn't really didn't really manage to do the business, although he's got a, a very nice, snazzy 90s haircut. Abraham is still knocking around. At the age of 35, he was a key component in us getting promoted. I, I've said that. 20 games, not that important. Ruben Ramos, he decided he'd had enough. He's buggered off to... Where are Pandiril? Oh, they're, they're in Romania. See, I know this, obviously. Maybe Dr. Benji played them. Ooh, little cross-reference, overlap, all of that good stuff. He's played four games. It was only a season ago. And that brings us up to the present season. So we won't need to go through that because all the players will still be where they were last time. So if you've been watching all of the previous episodes, you'll know where they're at. And if you don't, well, naughty, naughty. As it's the last episode, I'm going to set a lovely like target of 100 likes. So we've got to get there. It's obvious. We can't just end the series like not getting the like target. So 100 likes for the last episode of the series Get it done, people. If if it if it's not done with you, get your friends in. Get them clicking it. Go wild. Not that wild though, because well, it can't take it. It's getting old. Hang on a minute. Why is the seventh place in slight blue? Oh, fight! Hang on a minute. Before before we address this issue, fight bravely against relegation. So just 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 look at this for a minute. Give me give me two seconds of your time. It's been more than two seconds already. What are you saying? Twentieth was our media prediction. We're in 8th. We're going to finish... The lowest we can finish is 10th, I think, realistically. That's if Las Palmas win today, or whenever they're playing. They'll over-jump us. Over-jump us. That is... That is... Well, might as well be Spanish. But it looks like Europe is still an option. Villarreal are playing a team today... I uh, don't know who they're playing. We could just look, couldn't we? That would that would be more useful. They're playing Sociedad. See, they're fixed. Betis, no. Don't give us stuff. And Betis are fifth. So fifth versus seventh. It doesn't have a bearing on, on Betis's position. They've already secured their position in Europe. So maybe they'll be on their jollies. So we've got to beat top of the league and they've got to beat fifth. It's going to stay as it is, isn't it? Surprisingly, they've got a number of key players they could probably pick from, but Neymar gets the nod today. Fran Beltran is our key man. Once again, he's dominating the midfield with his lack of tackling and, well, less than stellar passing ability. 
But there you go. We're eighth. Bloody eighth. If we can finish eighth, that's tremendous. That's twice. No, I don't know. Man. I don't know the maths. Either way, we've had a rather spectacular season. If we could creep into Europe, that would be insane. Do I? Why would I be finishing it? Why would I be finishing it if we've got a chance in Europe? I didn't even know. I didn't even know we had a chance of Europe. And all of a sudden, seventh place is all of a sudden up for grabs. What's going on? So for our final ever game in the Recreativo Rejuvenation, we line up with Ramos in goal, a back two. Yes, a back two, because this stupid, ridiculous formation is back against the best team in the league. What are we playing at? We're going to get absolutely... Ooh. Ooh, I feel it getting sore again. But yeah, Henry and Dix make up the two centre-halves we have. Then Bandowski, Anderson and the Emerald just ahead of them. Del Soleil and Beltran are our midfield pairing with Parkinson and Suarez trying to support Valalba, who's up front on his own. Oh, oh, it brings me back. It takes me back, all the way back. We've got Willie and the Fonz on the bench. They don't really fit into this tactic, unfortunately, but well, in fact, Willie does. He could play where Parkinson's playing. That would be the obvious change, should we need it. When, why are we even looking? Messi, Neymar, why? Why, why, why? We will qualify for the Europa League if we win here today oh dear no n not about pressure yeah, see that they're, they're, they're loving it all right let's see if we can put eight past barca shall we let's go we're playing counter flexible all of the other stuff is exactly the same as we left it four seasons ago let's go i said go an awful lot in that sentence start where have all the uh, hang on a minute hang on a minute hang on a, a just a dicky Right, I've sorted all the usual governs out. We've got the league table back. We've got the latest scores up. We're ready to rock. Let's see how this goes. Uh, drink time, everyone. Oh, Bandowski uh, tries to launch an, is an initial attack and he's just punted it right out. Right out. Messi attacking that left or right-hand side even. Uh, Arnold plays a nice ball into Bernard. Bernard holding it up expertly there plays the ball back to Zebra Roberto and Arnold gets absolutely smashed by Henry it, it sounds like an English convention doesn't it Arnold and Henry smashing it oh dear don't don't say that but whilst I'm worrying about what Arnold and Henry are doing to each other uh, we're, we're on the attack here Anderson playing a nice outlet there Villalba plays in Parkinson oh my god We've gone 1-0 up against Barcelona. Away. At the new Camp. Might have forgot to mention that bit, but you can see it on the screen anyway. Whew. Genuine shock. Genuine shock. So Del Soleil slips a lovely ball into Villalba. Villalba plays it into Parkinson, who continued his run. To Stegen, questionable, but who gives us stuff when we've just scored against Barcelona? We're up to seventh. Oh, my God. Neymar Jr. And there we... Oh, Emerald clears it off the line. Oh, after Messi nearly heads it in. Messi heading. I mean, what is what is going on? The, the football world's gone mad. The Emerald swings a lovely ball in, but it's only been cleared as far as Neymar. Bernard, he's been quite active on the ball so far today. Uh, he's attacking and Messi's... Uh, there we go. Back to normality, everyone. That's it. We can calm down. <sighs> Villarreal, Villarreal uh, look like they've, they're have they doing things. They're winning. Brilliant. So, Bernard, he's been a thorn in our side so far. Quite a lot of the game. Plays a lovely ball. Messi has been completely untracked by Bandowski, and it was just too easy. The Emerald has just had... He's had an absolute nightmare. Neymar, he, he, he's also had a nightmare. Everyone's having nightmares. Some people have been eating too much cheese by the looks of it. One all then at the new Camp. At half-time, I don't... I never expected to say that, especially as how badly it's gone before. You have been unlucky so far. There, oh, there we go. Little little happy lambs. Don't know what makes them lambs. So we begin the second half. Our final half. Potentially, I say potentially, it is the final half of the Recreativo Rejuvenation save. Hopefully, you've seen what's coming next. Whilst Barcelona are on the attack and they were going to inevitably score. Bernard, he's in space. He's played in Arnold and Arnold has put it massively wide. That's another clear-cut chance that goes a begging for Barcelona. Fortunately for us this time, uh, Zebra Roberto even, Roboto, 
Mr. Roboto. Oh, that's a lovely ball by Messi. He's played in Neymar. Neymar, and oh, he's just he's just been absolutely screwed by the by the Emerald. He's probably getting sent off now as well. Penalty. They, they don't need much help, do they? Well, this 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 completely screws everything up. So Messi takes the penalty and slots it away. Ramos fails to move towards the ball. Tucked away with accuracy. Doubles his tally. So Messi, despite being 33, obviously still got it. Little wanker. Ramos does his best to put him off. What's that? What is this? Cheeky little sod. Celebrating before he's even put it in. Oh, you make my blood boil, little fuck boy. Ramos punts the ball up the field. Suarez can't beat whoever he was in the air. And Anderson's played a shocking ball forward. Bernard is in space once again. Acres of it. And Ramos just tips it back around the post. Right, we're going for it. We've got nothing to lose. We're now eighth. We were eighth anyway. I, I don't know what I'm saying. Let's move it up to control. See if we can surprise Barca. Henry manages to put it out for another corner. Neymar swings it in. Abdullah the Butcher. That's another wrestling reference. What is wrong with me? Uh, the Emerald. Hopefully he can spank it up. He does all the way up. And that that's... The, ah, here we go. This is the onslaught. Why am I pushing up? Why am I pushing higher up when we're playing against quick players? This was a poor life choice. Ramos holds on to it. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, this is more what I expected, in all honesty. Absolutely getting battered. Valalba battles it out with Perez, but can't quite take the ball off him. Bernard has got, well, he's got two players to dance around. He has done. He's scored another. It's 3-1. This is going to be getting embarrassing sooner or later. Let's make some changes for solidarity. In fact, let's go defensive because let's <laughs> not not get, get too crazy. Jimmy Parkinson, he may have scored the goal, but he's not done an awful lot since. So, off you come. Willie can come on for Suarez. And, yeah, that'll do, I think. No one, There's no one else of any meaning to come on. So, that, that'll that do. Unfortunately, Willie and Ordix didn't get injured. No groin strains for either of them. So, that's disappointing, isn't it, for everyone? Dix does well in the air against Salah. But, unfortunately, there's a gaping hole behind him. And I didn't mean to... Uh, I've been punished for my foul mouthness. Double entendres aside. Oh, dear. A clinical counter-attack. This is what happens when you play with two centre-halves against Barcelona. I mean, I'm, I'm a glutton for punishment. Ramos does well with the first one. But Salah is the first to react and slots it away with ease. Look at him with his little hand wave thing. Well, you don't wave with anything else, do you? Filth. There's not... A lot of this game left to run. It looks like it's going to end up 4-1. Unless Barca can put on more punishment. Then they're knocking it around for fun. And Messi's driving into that gaping hole of space where my players should be but aren't. And there we go. Five. Excellent. So this will be that. Hopefully not another one. Please. No. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, there it is. 5-1 of the... See? It all started so well. Shock and awe, and then just awfulness. This is why the tactic was dropped, because we can't play like that against better teams. Look, the defence was just, just shit. What a way to... Oh, dear. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm not here any longer, am I? So, let's... Let, I've, set it, I've set fire to it. Pour petrol all over it. Set it alight. Boom. What else is there? Is there any recreativa in disappointing collapse? I mean, well, it was quite emphatic. Ever want to see a bottle job? Yeah. And I'm drinking from a can. That's That's ironic. I think, or coincidental, one of the two. I don't care. Just just to put it in perspective, he's not even worth that much. Shit. World-class winger playing up front. What is, what is these crackers that they're playing? Curtain comes down on the Liga. Our first and final season of the save in the top division within Spain. We did all right. Ninth. That's not bad at all. I would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Probably the top, maybe a bit of the side. In fact, just just did generally the heart. That, in fact, that's why I've left my top button undone. So you can you can it's just chest hair, isn't it? You you disgust yourself. But I'd like to thank you each and all of you. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch each and every episode. Hopefully, you've all enjoyed the ride up through the bowels of Spanish football, right to the top. Well, I say right to the top. As far as I think I can reasonably take them with the budgets we're getting. I mean, you've seen how much we had to spend compared to how much Bale is paid, let alone anything else. It's a tough ask. So that is one of the reasons why I went into to win the save. Also, once I'd had the idea for Homegrown Hotspur, that was it. That's all I wanted to do. 
and I'm really putting a lot of effort into that series. So that will be starting on Monday. Also, after this little video bit, there will be the intro for Homegrown Hotspur, just to, just to whet your appetites a bit. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and the entire series of the Requity Rejuvenation. I have indeed. It's been one of my, my most favourite saves in recent memory on Football Manager, regardless of YouTube involvement or not. If you have enjoyed the, this video and the series itself, don't forget to pop a like on that. If you're brand new to the channel, click that subscribe button. There is a new series starting on Monday. Until Monday, that's all from me. I'll see you very soon. Oh, I say it's all from me. There's hashtag narrative on Sunday. Kurt FM, get involved. Or just watch it, that would be more useful. And for the final time, it's goodbye from me. Adios. I just need to blow my nose.